Welcome back, everyone. Uh, during World War II, dozens of Chamorro men were killed after they were forced to march out of the Menangan camp all the way up to Jigo. And joining us tonight, Jigo Mayor Rudy Matanani and uh, the Chiguian uh, Committee is seeking information on uh, those lives lost uh, that maybe we don't know about. So, Mayor, welcome to the show. Thank you, uh, Andy. I want to thank uh, KUAM and you and all the, the troop that makes this possible, mm -hmm. you know, for uh, helping us, you know, reach out to the people of Guam, you know, to help us out with uh, this mystery. Right. And it's our pleasure to help out with this because something like this is, I think, vital uh, in the history, uh, not just of the island of Guam, but of these individual families uh, that they had to go through. And you and your committee, your team, have really taken it upon yourself not just to host the memorial service up there in August, but to find out more information. And uh, we were just chatting before we came on uh, that there are things, new information that's coming to light, new things have been discovered. Tell us yes. about some things. You know, uh, before I go on with that, I just want to thank the the Chairman John Bloss, uh, Sergeant Major, for taking the task uh, this year again and uh, the years past, you know, uh, chairing the, the Chiguian Massacre uh, Committee, mm. you know, and also with the people that come every, I think right now it's once a month, you know, to, to help us out with everything, you know, moving forward with the, the, the ceremony every August 8th. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's, there's still a lot of mystery, you know, not to add that every time we, we, we look at what else is, is involving the Chiguian massacre, like about two months ago, there, there was a, a record that has, has been written that there were, I think, eight uh, bodies that also were beheaded. Mm up by uh, Salisbury. Uh, five were found actually in the, the place that's called Salisbury, which is between the, the Santa Bernadita uh, a church and that, that store or the front, the, the back gate of Anderson. Right. And around there, they, in, in the Salisbury uh, uh, site, they found five uh, beheaded bodies mm. and three somewhere close to there. That just adds to the the 47 or something that were beheaded in Chiguian. So, you know, was that part of the march up? Uh, we don't know. The, you don't, don't see, that's know. the thing is the information. How are you gathering most of this information? Is it word of mouth uh, from someone who survived? Just, was a young boy? Uh, was it a record, as you mentioned? Just word of mouth. But one thing that, that about that just makes things hard, okay, is, and we don't mind. We don't right. mind taking any information that has that people think is related to the Chiguian massacre, but we're getting uh, names that people were, were killed before then, and some of the, the surviving uh, relatives of the, the people that were massacred, you know, think that they, they were a part of, of the massacre. Mm. They're, uh, some of them are not, but we don't mind taking those information and at one time or the other we can mention these these people that are seem to be unknown right. and where they're at. Yeah. And you know, we're we're finding problems too of trying to to actually find the actual uh, mass uh, right. burial. Mm. There's a lot of challenges in this uh, because is. as you said, uh, Word of mouth, uh, sometimes maybe not the most reliable. And this is, you know, 70 something years ago. So uh, it's difficult to find accurate information, but you get what you can. And then from there you sift through, maybe yes. ask someone else and do some interviews, look at old records. I mean, it was during a war. So, uh, you know, information maybe not yeah. as reliable as you would you know, like. Andy, it's rough. And you know, the thing about this is we really don't think that none of these uh, these bodies came are, are from from Jigo, but it's the least that that us that are alive, you know, to it's the least that we can do for the people that that took the ultimate sacrifice. Right. And at saying that, I want to ask the you know the mayors from from Jonia, PD, and they all know who they are on where these uh, these people came from, you know, to 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 try to help in one way or the other, you know, to try 
to try to find closure for these men that that were massacred. You know, yeah. and like saying that, you know, we we have, you know, there's a lot of pain with with what comes with with war, and but we have to get over it. Yeah. And at saying that, we want to find peace. We want to find peace and, and finally find closure for all these men that, yeah. that were massacred. I can't even imagine what it was like going through that time, the Chamorros that were here, uh, that were marched, that were held in camps, uh, that were brutally murdered. Uh, nothing in my time has been even close. And so finding that information from those that lived through it and giving those families closure, the peace, like you said, I think is vital and very important to the people of Guam. You know, this, this thing uh, happened in 1944. Mm. How many years is that? Almost oh. 44, 50, 68, 70. Yeah. You know, but I still, you know, uh, talking to people, you know, trying to get information about their loved ones, you know, it kind of hits you right oh. where, where it hurts. Yeah. You know, and, and we all try, you know, to to find closure with this so, you know, we can continue with the complete uh, peace. Right. Because we can never find peace, I think, until we find uh, the real answers on what happened to these people that, you know, faced yeah. the ultimate sacrifice. And it, uh, the work that you and the committee have been doing, I think, is amazing. And it's not going to be... Tomorrow we'll have it all figured out. This is a process that the entire island of Guam needs to be involved yeah. in. If people do have information, can they call you? Yes, they, they can. First of all, they can uh, contact Judy, which is my admin assistant, at the number 653-9119-653-9447-653-5248. And my cell phone number is 687-9447. All right. And Mr. with... Hey, we, we welcome any information. You know, sometimes in that information, one word makes right. a difference. It does. So and you're making a difference for sure, Mr. We're, Mayor. We're trying. We're trying. We appreciate all that you do. And we, we thank the committee of the Chiguian Massacre for what they do. All right. Well, thank you. And thank you again for having us. It's always our me. pleasure. Glad to help. Thank you. All right, everybody. Stay tuned. KOM News Extra. We'll be back with more.